Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this screencast in which we are going to see how the concept of duration can be applied to estimate interest rate risk. To begin with, we need to remember two things. Number one, there is an inverse relationship between the bond price and the changes in market interest rates. And number two, the sensitivity of bond price to changes in market interest rates is what we call as the interest rate risk. Now, uh, let us move to this cell here in which we have defined how to find out the percentage change in the price by using the uh, estimate of duration of a bond. What we have here is percentage change in price on the left hand side and on the right hand side we have minus duration times the change in the market interest rate this delta k and divided by 1 plus the market interest rate that is denoted by the letter k. So we have this bond which was issued in uh, 1990 on 1st of January due to uh, mature in 2010 on 1st of January therefore giving us a time to maturity of 20 years we should say 20 and the coupon rate on this bond is 3 percent and the going market interest rate is 4 percent. The duration of this bond has been calculated and given to us 14.9085 years. The question is if the market interest rate changes from 4 percent to 6 percent tomorrow what impact it is going to have on the price of the bond. So the first thing that we said here in the beginning was that there is an inverse relationship between the price of the bond and the change in market interest rate. Let us look at what kind of change we are experiencing. We are moving from 4 percent to 6 percent that is an increase of 2 percent and that should cause the price of the bond to fall. So we should have a negative change in the price here. Let us find that out by using this formula in this cell. Let us write down our given items and see what effect does it make to the bond price. What we need to write here inside the bracket is minus duration. So we put a minus sign here and we are using the value of the duration from this cell. So we write that and then we need to multiply. Look there is a multiplication sign. So we write a multiplication here and then we start another bracket in which we are going to write delta k which is the change in the interest rates. Change in the interest rate is going to be captured by the difference between this cell that is B13 minus the value in this cell that is the original interest rate. So we do that and close our bracket and then we need to divide this thing by 1 plus our original market interest rate which is this value here 1 plus 4 percent. So let us put this thing in the bracket and let us put this also inside the bracket and then let us close all the brackets so that this formula can work correctly. Um, let me make the adjustments close all the concerned brackets. I guess we are done now and let us see what is going to be our answer. So now this is our answer that in response to a 2 percent increase in the market interest rate the price of the bond is going to fall. Look there is a negative sign here indicating a downward change in the bond price. So the price of the bond is going to fall by 28.67 percent. So um, we are verifying this fact here that there is an inverse relationship between the bond price and the changes in market interest rate and since the bond price is sensitive here in this case to the changes in the interest rates this sensitivity is known as the interest rate risk. Now uh, some practitioners also use the concept of modified duration to find out the uh, sensitivity of a bond price in response to change in the interest rates. Uh, let us do that here. Let us find out the modified duration. In this cell I have indicated to you the formula for modified duration. 
On the left hand side we see a D and with an asterisk that tells us that we are talking about modified duration. It is simply equal to the original duration that we found here 14.9085 divided by 1 plus the market interest rate. Now uh, one thing I am um, denoting the market interest rates here by the letter K. You could use the letter I or some people use R or some people use Y that does not make a difference. As long as we know what we are talking about the letter that we choose to represent that fact does not make a difference. So let us find out the modified duration of this bond here and then use it to find out the percentage change in price that will give us an estimate of interest rate risk. We already know the answer here 28.67 percent. We found it out through this formula. Now let us use the modified duration concept to arrive at the same result. First of all let us find out the modified duration in this cell. So we begin our excel formula here. Inside the bracket we need to write the duration that we found out. This is that so cell number B11 and then this cell the value in this cell needs to be divided by 1. So let us put this in bracket 1 plus the original market interest rate which was 4 percent. So let us write here the value in cell number B8 and close this bracket and close the entire bracket for the formula as well and that should give us the modified duration of this bond which is 14.33 years. Now this modified duration can be used directly to find out the percentage change in the price. Remember when we are finding out the percentage change in price we are basically estimating the interest rate risk. So let us put an equality sign and find out the percentage change in price which is going to be according to this formula now in this cell minus modified duration. So we put a minus sign and write down the value for modified duration which is this one in this cell D7 and then this is going to be multiplied by so let me write a multiplication this is going to be multiplied by the change in the market interest rate. You know that the market interest rate has changed by plus 2 percent moving from 4 to 6 percent. So there is a 2 percent positive change we write here just 2 percent and if you were doing it on a sheet of paper you might have written 0 0.02 to signify 2 percent but since I am using the excel sheet it is going to convert that automatically. So I am going to close my bracket here and let me see what I get. What you see is that I get the same result here as I had gotten at this place in response to a 2 percent increase in the market uh, interest rates there is going to be a fall in the price of the bond to the extent of 28.67 percent and therefore this bond has considerable amount of interest rate risk. It is highly sensitive to the changes in the market interest rates.